Hi, you? John. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Cowboys and Aliens is not your typical summer blockbuster in that it has a story and takes time to establish the characters. Did you feel any pressure to make a different film? Fortunately, the, my boss was also a director uh, with, with Steven Spielberg. He was the guy who hired me to make the movie and he was the guy who was, uh, he was the studio. So the pressure would have come from him and, and fortunately, he has a really good sense of how to create rhythm and how to, uh, to tell a good story. And he also gave me as a, as a director a lot of, a lot of freedom to bring, to bring vision to the film. When I came on board, nobody was attached. And the first guy that I got on was, was Daniel. Uh, and even though he's a very British actor, I thought he would be a, a very iconic cowboy. It, it, it seems that it was, it was always a dream of his to play a cowboy. And, uh, and he, you know, he's a very physical, dangerous presence in a film. And I felt that he bore a pretty strong resemblance to Steve McQueen, especially when you put a cowboy hat on him. I need to know where you came from. So do I. So he anchored the film as the mysterious Leone-style gunfighter. And once Harrison Ford expressed an interest in being in it, that was like a dream come true for all of us because he's such an iconic figure. And since The Frisco Kid, which was a comedy, he has not played a cowboy. Although I would argue that his characters in Star Wars and Indiana Jones are, are cowboys of sorts. Looks like he's doing fine. Uh, do you think the internet is now the most important factor when marketing a movie? I don't know that directly marketing to your audience through the internet is, uh, is, is that effective of a tool yet compared to trailers or in theaters or on television. But I will say that social networking is a very important part of the equation, as word of mouth is probably the most important factor when I'm going to see a movie. If my friend says, this is an amazing movie, you have to see it, even if I've not heard of it, I'll make, I'll make an effort to go. One question, which of the following concepts do you think has the most potential for a sequel? Pirates and robots, ninjas and dinosaurs, or footballers and vampires? I, I think I would, I would mix and match between those. I would, I would go with the pirates and the, and the dinosaurs. Uh, is that is that a possibility? Yeah, that would be amazing. You land on the island. See, this is why you're the director. It writes itself. You land on the island. They come on board. And by the way, they're looking for for another chapter of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. They've already had Pirates and Ghosts and Pirates and Mermaids and Pirates and Zombies. I think I think it's time for Pirates and Dinosaurs. I think I think you nailed it, man. Awesome. John, thanks for doing it. Bye bye. Thank you. How did you come to collaborate with John Favreau on this project? I'd say Perfect Storm and uh, Lucky Me. Everyone came together in that movie fantastically. I mean, from the beginning and everyone involved, from all the producers and, and John, it was amazing, and everyone. I just, it's actually a very lucky production. What impact has Hollywood had on the comic book industry over the past decade or so? Hey, it's given the comic book industry a new toy store to play in with special effects and audiences that are into things that are fantastical and out of the ordinary. And it's a lot of fun, and in particular when you have terrific filmmakers like John Favreau who know how to meld effects with practical, it just makes it just even better. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us, Scott. Uh, Cowboys and Aliens is out soon across Europe, and you can download Avatar Connect for free right now from Connect Fun Labs on the Xbox Connect Hub. Once again, Scott, thanks very much for joining us.